Okay, I'm looking at the map. I've just dumped off all my fusion cores that have more than 30% or so. We walk straight out here and follow this way. Pretty fast travel here it might be a little quicker. Go south and then west. Let's try that. I'm traveling solo on this one. Not dealing with the whole companion thing. Because they're trying to go pick, pick up a companion. So we go this way. Yeah. Let's see, this is the spray and pray. Simply because this is starting. I'm only down to 80 shells here. And I figure I'll. Nice and quiet because it's got the suppressor. Sounds like I'm shooting, you know, I don't know, an air rifle. Bugs. We should call it the Bug Zapper. Well, the Spray and Prey is a pretty good name. Hundred round clip. How, many, how much bullets do I have got there? Six thousand rounds of forty-five. I think this would be good. So now, where are we headed? It's behind us. Somehow. Up there. Vault 81. Hmm, a little bit of life showing around here. Let's see if we can pass the uh, the hard speech check. I am maxed on charisma, you know. So I'm up to ten. Let's drop our guns. Try to be nice. Let's get a picture of the, of the door. Of course. Picture of the door. I'll make a good background. Let's see. Without the green glow. With the green glow. And this one looks pretty happy. Ah, some stuff there, but we don't need it now. Can't do that well in combat. Why would I be in combat? Okay, something was weird. security. I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy, but you better start talking. I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? I'm just a traveler. I thought I'd take a look around. Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? Oh. Overseer. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am. Some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. Okay, let's try it. But I'm a fellow vault dweller. 
Can't you just let me in? Excuse me, ma'am. Before you arrived, he did say he was from Vault 111. And he's in possession of a working pit boy. Is that so? I'm going to allow it. Edwards, yes. open the door and make the announcement. Officer Edwards and I will meet you at the entrance. All right. Talk to Overseer McNamara. Let's start the long process of getting another companion. Win. My guys have been working doubles for weeks now. They need a break. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. We've never encountered a fellow Vault Dweller. Is this Vault 111 you mentioned still operational? Not anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. What happened there? Did something go wrong? They had us cryogenically frozen in these pods, but something malfunctioned. Oh my god. All those lives lost due to some malfunction? That's unacceptable. I suppose we've been lucky. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient. But there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. I'm impressed you maintained a successful vault for so long. Thanks. I owe it to the overseers before me, but some here would disagree. A few believe opening the doors to the Commonwealth was a mistake. Interaction is a good thing. The Commonwealth is improving. So I've heard. But it's still got a long ways to go. Now, I have work to do. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. Hope you're not making any trouble. No signs of radiation. Impressive. Your pit boy ever act up on you? Mine's been glitchy lately. If you're looking to do some trading, look for the depot. Alexis has just about anything you could need. Hey, Ashes. What are you doing up here? Ashes, where are you going? Ash! Damn it. Aaron's not going to like this. I heard we had a trader in today. Don't try anything. Mister, are you really from the Commonwealth? Yes, I am. I knew it! Hey, I can show you around the vault if you want. Just five caps. Okay. Give me the tour, Austin. Here's the caps. Yes! I gotta show you to Erin. She's gonna flip. Follow me. We'll start over here. This is the depot. The Combs family run it. Aaron and I are best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot, so I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. 
Good to know, Austin. Thanks. See, I told you I know things. Next stop, the Overseer. I bet you killed a lot of strange things. Ooh, and raiders. I bet you fought raiders too. The Overseer's office is up there. They're busy up there, and they do not like to be bothered. She makes rules, but she's nice. I like her. Overseer, huh? I suppose someone needs to be in charge. Well, if you need her, that's where you'll find her. Next stop, the diner. Now we gotta go downstairs. That's where the diner is. Everybody eats there. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The summer sets are nice, though. You'll like them. Hello, Austin. I see you're showing our guests from the Commonwealth around. Yes, ma'am. This is the Sunshine Diner. Grant says that they'll take all of our hard work and turn it into swill. Mr. and Mrs. Somerset run the diner. They're pretty nice. Mrs. Somerset's pies are the best. How's their food? Other than the pies. I like it. Mrs. Somerset always sneaks me seconds. I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop? Horatio. I told you they were nice. Do you like your hair? I like mine. I hate combing it, though. Grand makes me comb it. Austin, that hair of yours is a mole rat's nest. <laughs> this is where Horatio fixes up people's hair. Aaron's mom comes here all the time. Gran hardly comes here at all. She makes me cut my hair, though. It's not fair. If I ever need a new hairstyle, I'll come here. I hate getting my hair cut. Next stop is Gran. Let's go see Gran. I live with her. She's not my real grandmother, though. My parents died when I was real little. Well, how'd that happen, I wonder? Excuse me, I finally unlocked the mute button to cough. That's great. Hi, Gran. Austin, what are you doing here? Are you bothering that stranger from the Commonwealth? I'm not bothering him. I'm helping him. Hmm. That's Gran. She takes care of me. You can call her Dr. Penske. She acts a little grumpy, but it's not for real. Says you. She runs our hydroponics lab. It's where we get all our food. You don't get anything from the Commonwealth? Nope. Gran grows it all here. She's really smart. Hmm. Next stop, Miss Katie. Some weird lighting there. Come on, hurry up. We gotta go to the other side of the vault. I'll show you where I go to school. I bet you didn't have to go to school. <laughs> no, no, I, I've done a lot of school. The character's done a lot of school. Unless he's a synth. I'll check this, this is out. The school. Miss Katie runs it. It's boring most of the time. But Gran says I have to go anyway. Your Gran is a smart woman, Austin. Are there a lot of kids in the vault? Not that many. The overseer says that we're using population control. Whatever that is. Next stop is the medical clinic. Let's go downstairs. I'll show you the clinic. Doc Forsyth and Rachel are okay, I guess. But I don't go there unless I have to. Or unless Gran makes me. Wee wee boink. I can jump. Can you jump? I like to jump. Let's jump. This is our medical clinic. If you get hurt or sick, come down here. Dr. Forsyth says I can't bother him or Rachel while they're working. Did you ever get sick? Just colds and stuff. Hardly anyone here gets sick. Mr. Somerset broke his foot once, though. They put a big cast on it, and he had to walk with crutches. Now we go see Erin. She's going to be surprised when she sees you. Come on, this way. 
Erin and I spend a lot of time together. She didn't believe me when I said I would bring you to her. How did everybody find out about me, like, in, like, ten seconds? That was, like, are you telepaths? Or are you all synths? Am I a synth? Are you a synth? Are we all synths? Synthetics? I don't know, it seems to be the running theme. Now I have to go back into slow walk mode. Going, just tooling down. Wearing a toilet seat. Because that's how we dress in the Commonwealth. Half the people are sleeping. Erin, look who I found! The stranger from the Commonwealth! Erin, wake up! It's the middle of the night. What time is it, anyway? I just gotta know. Data. It's quarter to four in the morning, Erin! Stranger from the Commonwealth's here. Wow. You're really from the Commonwealth? Yes, I am. Whoa. Someone from the Commonwealth. That's so cool. We haven't had a visitor in a while now. Thanks for doing my tour. I was so cool to show you off to everyone. I'm heading out. Don't wait up for me. Excuse me, mister. Have you seen my cat? Again? I think he's left the vault. I saw him run by me when I got here. Left the vault? Oh, please bring him back. Please. No one else would set foot outside for him. Probably dead. Where do you think he may have gone? Not far. He'd be terrified. I'm sure if there's anywhere nearby to hide, you'll find him. I'll find him for you. Thank you! His name is Ashes. He's the sweetest little gray cat. I just want him to come home. Okay, now we gotta find our way back out of here. There's La Escuela. Boogie, boogie, boogie. You should stop by the lab in the morning and take a look at the new crops. Oh, I will. Pardon me, Dr. Penske. It's good to be out of the lab. Okay, so there's not much going on there. I go up here. Go back in the elevator. There'll be a lot of tr up and down the elevator. Up and down the elevator. Up and down the elevator. That's when I can see that. The plan is save the cat. And then, you know, maybe build up my shotgun rounds. And Don't stuff want like any that. trouble in 81. Here, I can take this entire place out, trust me. Hi, how are you? Good. Uh, where's where we going here? Ah, oh, here's Boy, my hammer. Rad detectors? Dr. Forsythe is asking to see you when you have a moment. Okay, we can do that. First, I gotta find a cat. Isn't that big uranium rock? And now the door is just kind of open? Is that the deal now? So you only open it for me, but then it's open forever. Okay. I'll accept that. It's kind of the function of this game. Once you open the door, the door is open. Except for Vault 111, which is a big deal every time you do it. I'm going to punch you. I'm going to punch you. I'm going to punch you with my metal... No, my I've got bare knuckles. Okay. Now, the kitty's name is Ashes. We'll come up as a hostile, though. And we got a waypoint. That sounds like a vertebrate. That's like he's a vertebrate coming down on the kitty. What the hell kind of... 
Okay, we don't want trouble. Where is the cat? Oh, we can send him home? Ashes, go home. Aaron misses you. I don't even see the cat. What the hell is going on over here? There goes Ashes. Ash is a kitty. He's a kitty. And I hope he doesn't get killed. What the heck is going on over here? Ashes, go home. Yeah. Okay, let's just, uh, hope Ashes goes home. Where's the... Uh, yep, the, the, the door is just open. It's open once and for all, forever and ever. And yeah, that's they've completely changed their pro their pro always looking for tools. I heard it pay caps if you got Some people who are totally not me. Sorry about the maintenance. It never ends these days. Well, it's how things are. Elevator open. Everything's not under control. It's falling apart, isn't it? So you'll all be replaced by synths. for a moment. Ka-tink! Okay, as I recall, it was like downstairs... Looking for a meal? See Maria. She no. runs the Sunshine Diner in the atrium. Thank you. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. <laughs> Your cat's back. Well, hello. Sounds like they were, uh, well, they were kind of in trouble at the Cambridge Police Station. They were in a pretty bad trouble. But... Ashes! You found him! Thanks, oh, mister. Well, I was so worried him. about him. For a gun. You're welcome. I'm so glad he's safe. Ashes! I got a fusion Ashes. core. I was so worried about you. And I bet Mom's gonna make me give you a bath. Oh, we're gonna die! Oh. I know, I don't like it either. But I'm just happy you're back. It must be rough living out there. Complete it. Here, kitty kitty. Uh, let's see. Do we want to go talk to the... Hey, I need here? a break. Calvin. Sorry, new guy. Not a lot of time to talk right now. I'll be quick, I promise. Ha! We'll see about that. What can I do you for? So, there's a lot of upkeep going on right now. Hell, you could say that again. Old Lady One here, she's a straight-up wreck. Pretty solid for a while, easy enough to keep up with her needs, but in the last few years or so, damn, she got feisty. Been going through tools like they were going out of style, so if you got any, I'd be more than happy to take them off your hands. Sure. You got yourself a deal. Stupendous. One less thing to bug the overseer about. Anyway, here I am running my mouth when there's work to do. Sorry I can't talk longer, stranger. But mind the maintenance. Shouldn't get in your way, at least. Okay. Sliding door. Bathrooms. I think you can finally use a clean bathroom here at some point. Been a couple hundred years. Stay out of trouble. Alright, I'll we'll go there then. I'm exhausted. I hope I can get some rest tonight. What I wouldn't give for some real time off. Who's that? Excuse me. I don't understand why Halt insists on being useless. He could run that depot blindfolded. Alright, there's no interaction. Maybe the problem is he's a synth. Seeds. I need more seeds. 
Where's that elevator? Elevator! What are the odds that somebody hears the sound? Ding. So I think the overseer's office was somewhere up on the top floors. It's the exit zone. We don't want to go to the exit zone. If you need a doctor, Forsyth and Rachel are down in the medical center. They can patch you up. Never had an incident on my watch, and I don't want to start. He was down here. Is that that's around the bend? Alright, we'll go down the elevator. Down the elevator. Down the elevator. Talk to the overseer. See what kind of mission the overseer has. I don't think it's going to be the go save the child mission yet where I get to go get Curie. Overseer. Yeah. Depo. Hopefully 81 will quit her fussing long enough to give us folks a decent break. Yeah, you'd hope. Very nice. She's looking pretty bad in there. Hello, Overseer. Have you been down to medical to see Dr. Forsyth yet? He told me he's very interested in meeting you. That off? If you haven't already, you should stop by the classroom. Katie would love to have you speak to her students. Multiple missions. Excuse me, Overseer. Feel free to make the most of the services we offer while you're here. Oh, that's... That's all great. Looking very nice in that jumpsuit, by the way. Ma'am. Is she literally just overseeing? Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, so there's a couple light missions going on here. I guess... We could run they down... They got ashes to... back. Aaron is crazy about that cat. Let's see. Barber. I need to check the water pumps again. Hydroponics. Residential. Laboratory. Laboratory. Now, where do we go to the doctor? Katie Penn is a teacher here in 81. You should stop by her class. She's big on learning from outsiders. She's big on that, huh? Is there like a hallway? You have to go up a little bit. Elevator. The depot. Sliding door. That's just storage. Hybridization. It's got to be a flaw in the hybridization. Okay, nothing. The overseer overseeing. Overseer, commissary, depot. Let's look for the signs here. Barber, cafeteria. Mm, you're whipping up a new batch of pies today? Good work on the cat retrieval. I thought for sure Ashes was a goner. Yeah. That's what I do. I talk to people through scopes. Let's do the classroom thing. Oh, you're that new traveler. You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. Every waking moment's an adventure out there. Oh my. <laughs> I knew it. My kids would love to hear some of them. Would you be willing to talk to my class? I'd be glad to talk to them. Marvelous. Stop by whenever class is in session. I'll just stop what I'm doing and turn the class over to you. Started short stories. Okay, so I have to catch that. What time is it now? It's 8 o'clock, so maybe later. Reactor. Huh? Where is... Oh, you got guts wearing that Pip-Boy in the Commonwealth. I can't believe someone hasn't tried to steal it yet. I'm they so have... happy Ashes is back. I was so scared. I'm just gonna just jump down the hole here. <laughs> Let's 
stairwell up that way. Huh? The clinic. Welcome, welcome. I hope I'm not being presumptuous, but I'd like to ask you a favor. Would you mind donating some medical samples, even just the blood sample? Sure, you can have some blood. Excellent. Just have a seat, and I'll draw some blood. Sit to donate blood. Where am I supposed to sit? Sit there. Is it there? This will only take a sec. There. Hardly hurt a bit, eh? Thank oh. you. This will be a great help. Now, I need to get these prepared immediately. So you're gonna sit. Dr. Forsyth, I often wonder about medical facilities in the Commonwealth and just how sanitary they must be. Okay, so I gave a blood donation of some nature. We'll walk back upstairs, classroom. There's class going on! Would you like to tell the students one of your stories now? I'd be glad to. Wonderful. The kids are so excited. Children! Children, listen up! We have a guest today who is going to tell us stories about the Commonwealth. Did you ever find a death claw? How do you know about death claws? I hear stuff. Grant heard something about them from a Commonwealth guy. One of the Minutemen helped me kill one once. Cool. What happened? Well, rat story and so like let's let's see here. This could be funny. Wouldn't you rather hear about when I fought mole rats? Not really. My dad says mole rats are just nuisances. A group of raiders had my friend Preston trapped. But you rescued him, right? This story isn't too scary, is it? We're not babies. What happened next? Preston showed me where to find some power armor I could fix. Power armor! Wow. Has the vault ever had problems with raiders? They don't bother us. They can't get in if we don't want them to. I wasn't ready when the death claw crawled out. Good thing I had that power armor. That sounds scary. Preston and I kept shooting until it was dead. I bet that took lots of bullets. Thank you so much for that story. Children, say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And we have a thank you gift for you. Oh, good. Here. Hey, Grognak the Barbarian, yay! Completed short stories. And listen, if you ever, you know, want to go out or something, well, I guess I should just go. I already have two romantic issues here going on. So I've donated blood. I've talked to the class. I think it's time to disappear for a little while. And the trick will be coming back. I think you have to be at least 24 hours out of the vault. And then you get the mission that to go find the cure for the one kid and blah blah blah. So, on that note, until the next video, this is the Black Knight. Have a great night, or at least a great ride in elevator. Wow, the, the Brotherhood sure do hang around here a lot. What the heck got to be around? Something over here. I kind of shoot at them, but... There's something cool about that.
Whoa, they're following me. Crops been growing pretty good lately. Let's get my cores. Junk mods. Uh, here we go. Or me up. I need the fusion cores. Or me up. I need the fusion cores. And I'm honestly curious. Mm, don't much care for good news. That place is not good. Where are they going? And can I take some of the stuff to their loot? Now might be a good time for the good old fashioned spray and pray. <laughs> Suicider. This is bad. We killed them without blowing them up. Out of the sky. Okay, maybe we want to back up. <laughs> Not a very high level guy. I'm getting cashed out here. Fen Street Sewer. I don't think I want to go in the sewer. Not today. We're just... We're just figuring out where the machine guns are. I think I know where. These guys Sorry. again. Should have just run. Oh, and they're all dead. Uh, you guys aren't going to clean up, but I'll clean up. I mean, I'm kneecapping something or other. A runaway cow. Gotta love the runaway cows. Well, hey, at least uh, the Diamond City team won one on their own this time around. And I'm thinking, where do we want to head? I think the next step's definitely back to Sanctuary. Pick up some water and stuff. What the heck? Spectacle Island, Country Crossing, and Croup Manor all at once.
We'll hit Country Crossing. I'm pretty sure Spectacle Island can defend itself. So can Croup Manor. It should be just a matter of fast travel, fast travel, fast travel. But three at once? We stare at a robot waiting to see the the murder and destruction. Oh, well, let's go to the spray and pray. And you can't provoke you. So we go to the map. Hit the croup. Again, yeah, I mean, the defense on Spectacle Island is so high that if I don't make it, it should come up as successfully defended itself. I'd be hard pressed to think of what could show up there. Plus you got McCready and Kate there. Yeah. Now we're gonna look at a table. This time. Okay, that's successful. There's one more coming. Data. Still shows. Okay, let's kite them out. Where are the bad guys? Hello? Let me get the heck out of here. I know, I'm obviously missing out on loot, but I mean, you know, at this point in the game. I just want to see the rockets fly. And stuff might still be there. We'll go back and we'll take a look later. Because the stuff being fired at. Something's out there. That was quite a fireworks show. Yeah, it's entirely possible we got blown right into the water. Don't even see a body. Oh wait, what's this? Raider survivalist. I'm guessing he wasn't standing there when the missiles did. One of those where he landed things. Ah well. 
Okay, I think a sufficient amount of time has passed. And I've uh, made sure I was loaded for bear here. I can check the inventory. Got, of course, my favorite gun, with now closer to 500 rounds. Do you don't think I'm using that, but it's there. Got the alien blaster pistol, just in case. The cryolator, which is one of the recommended weapons for this level. Resilient boosted, fiery pla resilient boosted fiery plasma thrower. Try saying that five times fast. Which is kind of a plasma flamethrower. This is one of the, I think this is the bonus you get for completing uh, Far Harbor. It's one of those guns. Sergeant Ash, which is another Far Harbor related weapon. 20% chance to cripple the target's leg. I've built that up pretty pretty heavily. A short combat rifle, which I think I just picked up somewhere on the line. I don't even know I have that. The Spray and Prey, which is kind of my backup go-to weapon here when I'm trying to save shotgun shells. And, of course, the two-shot boosted Farley Laser Sniper Rifle, which is the favorite. Why would you need all that in Vault 81? Well, you're going to find out, because we're going to try and go get Curie. Doop dooby doop beep doop de dooby 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 doop. I'm actually not wearing power armor because I've got and so many adders on uh, for endurance. My endurance, uh, just for the record. Let's see where we the stats. My endurance is up at 13, and so that's what's going to help you. Well, you'll see in a little bit. Nothing reduces the chances to zero, but it certainly might help. Wee. Doink, doink, doink. Get on the elevator. Doink the button. So, let's see. Yeah? Residential, laboratory, cafeteria, the barber. Is that your pit boy? Better be. Okay, so, it'll be there. I think we have to go down a level, maybe. We have to go into the residentials someplace. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm looking for the medical area. It should be well marked. We. Sorry about the maintenance. It never ends these days. It never ends. The clinic. Okay. Doop dooby doop. You have to do something, Jacob. I'm running the test as fast as I can, Priscilla. I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. Dr. Forsythe. Not now, Bobby. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. We have an emergency here. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases or toxins. Rachel is examining the mole rat. Hopefully she'll find something. But these aren't ordinary mole rats. Who knows what kind of diseases they are carrying. Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Dr. Forsythe, please. I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. What is it, Bobby? Well, you know that door Austin found? He found it because of me. I keep my private things in there. He saw me get them. You mean your chems? Get to the point, Bobby. What did you find in that place? It's like a whole extra vault in there, but half ruined and caved in. There was this terminal there. So I started poking around in it. There were some notes and stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses. But they also said that they used them to make vaccines and treatments. A secret fault. Good lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius. A junkie genius. There might be a cure for whatever Austin got from that mole rat somewhere in that place. You there. How would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? I would be glad to help. I was hoping I could count on you. Bobby here will show you where he keeps his secret stash. There is a chance that somewhere in there is a cure for Austin. If you find it, bring it to Dr. Forsythe. I'm over here. And for Austin's sake, please hurry. Follow me. Hole in the wall. This is it. This is the key thing. 
Dr. Forsythe and Rachel have plenty of medical supplies to get you stocked up. This isn't looking good. Um, it's over here. Okay, now here's the trick. If we get bit by one of these mole rats, then we have the disease forever, unless we steal the cure from the boy and let him die. I think I'd rather just shoot all the mole rats. I'm gonna go into crouch mode, because I know if I'm approaching a mole rat. Anything in there? It's gonna come up out of the ground. See? Sprint it. This looks pretty linear. Hidden. Detected. There's something nearby. Expect mole rat trouble. And we're going to save. We're going to save early and often. I'm not going to lie. If I get bit, we're reloading. All clear. That sounds like a robot. Probably. Identified intruder detected. Beginning search. Okay, what do we got going on now? Protectron? Area secure. Okay. Bottle cap, bullets. Abraxo. Ten mil rounds. Oh, there's some perfectly good junk here. Breeding program update. Okay, that's great. Serum production. That's encouraging. So, production might be an issue. Is there anything else? Now, this looks like they're guiding you pretty solidly here. Laser turret. Machine guns behind that. For safety, please take cover until the lawbreaker is dealt with. I'm a lawbreaker, huh? Nice. I'm a lawbreaking son of a gun. Has the lawbreaker been dealt with? Okay, I think we can move forward here. Hidden, hidden, hidden. Something's up ahead. Hidden, hidden, hidden. Something's here. Comfy pillow! Tommy Wonder Glue bullets. Arm clocks, those are good. They have nuclear material in them. A vase. Yeah, that looks like a nice vase. Detected. 
hidden, detected, detected, hidden. Empty dresser. Okay. Oh, what's that just do? Set down? No, I didn't want to set down. I just want to take the stuff off of that. Crouch down. Guns up. Unlock a wooden crate. Yes. Believe me, I'm not going to want to come back down here, so... You might think, hey, you could unleash one of those protectrons and let it um, let it help you. But if it gets bit, then it's the same as if I get bit. Which I don't think that makes any kind of sense. But it is what it is. Anything useful in here? I don't want to go crazy on the junk. I'll go a little crazy. I'm a collector and a completionist, but... Uh, there is a point of through the bathroom. So anything interesting? Pretty warm muddy. Yay. I'm rich. Okay. Dead nice. No 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 no. Exit that. We don't want this. Let him stay dead. That's a trap. If anything, it was a trap. Still glowing. Detected, eh? Fan's good. Pen. You can always use pens. A little bit of glass. Detected. But by what? Let's save. I see dirt. I don't know why that was just stuck there. Come up right next to you. That's kind of unnerving. I don't think I was bitten. Doesn't look like it. Any of this meat. I should want it, but no. I don't know that the, the preemptive shooting is going to help. I'm not even sure that this uh, particular creep mode is going to help. Any of them up top? Oh, I got bit. Can I get the disease? I don't think so.
bottle cap. Okay, again, it's pretty linear here. Yeah, I want to be up a little bit so that I'm not... I'm sure this whole thing is overblown and Austin will be running around tomorrow. Overblown or not, we have to do what we can for Austin. I just don't know what I can do. Neither do I, Priscilla. Why him? He's just a boy. He's going to be just fine. You'll see. The hell is that? That didn't sound good. Danger. They're coming from behind. <laughs> They're getting bit. Here's a trick. You don't necessarily get a get the disease if you get bit, especially if your endurance is high, like mine. Let's see. We have it. That. That means that it's, it's regenning, I think. Well, my hit HP is 700, so if it goes down to 690, it was 710 and now it's too late. I've seen 610, 700, and 710, I don't really care, honestly. It should be. Well, this is going to be a joy for you. You get to nag me and I can't go anywhere. Oh, real nice, Holt. Make this about you. Don't you think about anyone other than yourself? Your daughter could get sick like Austin, and you're whining about spending time with your family? I have things to do. We don't have to hide away in here. You're so busy, Holt. You have so much to do. Please, explain to Aaron why your needs are more important than her safety. Just never mind. <sighs> I guess we're picking up stuff from the rooms. The vaulted heavens have unexpectedly repurposed this room to kind of store for selling and repairing their possessions. It has allowed this observation part to record interactions between many of the vault citizens. This shop will become as an important disease vector for spreading airborne Class B2 viruses. It will also be available for observing the effects of disease on social and economic relationships. This room will become a backup treatment location, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so what they've got is that you've got... This is the, apparently because it's part of the depot. It must be the, the basement of the depot. Uh, light bulbs are kind of rare. Not that you can't make them yourself. Which explain that to me. Okay, this is going to be like... Observation. Understood. But overseer. No buts. Good for all. Spread it, Dr. Forsyth. Yes, of course. How are you? The infection is quite rapidly. We need a way to stop it from spreading. Then let's hope that outsider pulls through and gets it secured. From where? Yeah, you can count on the outsider. We'll work all this out. Although the chief scientist argued against an observation part in the overseer's office, it has turned out to be a boon. We were able to observe the political shifts in governance since the vault door was locked. When we do introduce viruses to population, we will be able to monitor the leadership's reactions. So their plan was to, to poison all the people upstairs, give them all viruses. That's great stuff. Mole rats. Rats of the mole. Figured. This is a dangerous method because the explosive damage can hurt me. Hey, are we good? No. We're not good. Hustle it up. Let's see if we can get into the next area. And maybe...
Um, let's get up here. A little bit. Yes, I'm jumping on a table, hiding from rats. Let's see, still... Don't seem to have gotten the disease yet. Come on, where are you coming from? Get ready, rat rat tat tat. That's close. Two rounds each. I think that should be the rule. They only look like they need one round each. Where's that coming from? This is a very tenth level. This is the breeding room. There are a lot of them. They're a terminal, not a functioning one. Every time I hear one, I'm like, whoa, where'd it go? Where did it go? Out of the ceiling! Ceilings are great! Anything useful to the story in here? Uh, is a safe. A master safe. Yeah, well, I got bobby pins. A little more. <sighs> master locks. They're hard to break. Got it. Oh, sweet. Nothing really special. You know. Nothing I need. You're using 10 mils for here. God bless you. Okay. That we were in there. Grab a camera. Screw the aluminum. Upstairs. Vault secure access terminal. Unlock. Expert. Citizens decorate genetics. Okay, that that would have been a good constant paranoid. Oh, yeah. Hey. Open the door. Got to be all the doors should be open, right? Let's Okay, this might be the shortcut. Yes. Another stranger. Are you vault Tech Security? I've waited so very patiently for you to arrive. Who the heck are you? I am a Contagion's Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer, or CVR IE. The human scientists call me Curie. Or more properly, they call me this when they were alive. I repeat, are you vault Tech Security? I don't want to lie to her. These mole rats carry a disease. Do you know anything about it? My poor little darlings. They were used to grow all manner of new and interesting pathogens. Then Vault citizens would be exposed to these viruses in the hopes that they would develop new antibodies. But they never got the chance to execute their plan. Clyde got out of his cage. He was smarter than the others. My sweet Clyde. He let out the others and those poor scientists Never stood a chance. Clyde's been dead for almost two centuries now, but his descendants have free run of the vault. I'm rambling. Where are my manners? Are you vault tech security? Just open the door for me. There is a proper procedure to do this thing. I am pleased to report I completed my primary duties 83 years ago. Thousands of pathogens were grown in the mole rat hosts. Then, a single broad spectrum cure was developed to treat them all. 
very satisfying work for many decades. Now, please tell me you are authorized to release me from the lab. Yes. Uh, I am so authorized. You are released. Superb. I had almost given up all hope of living here. I'll open the door for you. Okay. Since you are a Volt Tech representative, I entrust you with the broad spectrum cure I developed. If you have an equivalent to my digital Hippocratic Oath, please use it quickly to prevent any undue suffering. However, be advised, there is only one dose left, and I can no longer make any more. Okay! I thought we were going to have to go through and kill a whole bunch more stuff. If that is all, I am most eager to leave. Machine bobblehead. Machine. Medicine bobblehead. That's yes. an important one. Is there anything else in here? I'm pretty sure a bobblehead and a cure is probably enough. Ah, Curie's terminal. I have been ordered by Dr. Carlisle to add almost. I can do the voice. Colleagues. Okay. Error in cache entry. So some stuff's gone. Distress. Error in the cache. Eulogy. Okay, so they all died. The Collins Archive. I hope she got into her vault down in D.C. Huh, well, I, well if it was the D.C. area, that would have been probably 101. That, was the, that, that would have worked out not too bad. 101 wasn't horrible. Oh, that's good. Final entry is an exception, I suppose. And Burrow had to spend some more time helping me on the next few former research. Oh, well, we'll we'll make that happen. Bobby pin box, yay! Are you performing some sort of psychological experiment?
Thanks for the cure. It is my hope that this cure finds its way to someone who needs it. Hopefully now I can properly further my scientific research. Since my job here is done, I think I will follow you out. Okay. Well, let us... Oh, hey, we got a way out. An elevator! All right, they were nice enough to put an elevator. I thought I had to kill a brood... Mat, like a brood mother for the rat moles, and she wouldn't let you out until all the other rats are killed. Maybe they, maybe they modified that. Maybe that's an update. You consult the professors at the university. They could provide many answers. They're all dead. Well, the ones you're thinking of. Right, we opened the doors. Okay, we open here. Hello. You should see Doctor Forsythe. I heard he has a job for you. Uh. You should stop by and see Horatio while you're here. Can't imagine you come. Across Don't want any trouble in '81. I got a robot. Very naive robot. But someday you'll be a woman. We'll get to that later. Kind of a woman. Don't need the light, really. Okay, which way are we going? Which way are we going? Watch yourself. Do you got a mirror? Down there, so we go. Wee, wee, woo, wee, ha. Let's make everybody happy. Doctor Forsyth, the cure. You found it. Here, take the cure and use it on the boy. Only one dose. I hope this works. If it doesn't, there won't be anything to analyze to try again. Let's hope this works. I heard you had returned. Okay. It shouldn't be long. What? Where, where am I? You're Thank in God. the clinic. You were really sick, Austin. Our visitor from the Commonwealth saved your life. Really? Gee, thanks, mister. I was worried to death about you, Austin. What got into your fool head? Going into a place like that. Nothing exciting ever happens here. I just wanted to see what was in there. Well, if it hadn't been for our friend here, you might have died. Thank you. I know you made sacrifices to help him. I know Dr. Pinsky will be grateful. For my part, I'd like to give you the syringe. I had it for years and never really had a use for it. She's not the only one. The whole vault is thankful. I'd like to give you a room here in the vault. A place you can call your own. It's in the main hall. On the left, as you get off the elevator. Once again. Thank you. I, I hope agree? you enjoy your accommodations. I'm I wanted to say starving. thank you again for what you did for Austin. You've opened a lot of eyes around here, including my own. I had no idea of the dangers vault Tech had hidden away so close to home. I can't believe so many died just behind our walls. Whatever vault Tech had planned, it failed and took their entire staff out with it. No arguments here. I hate to think of what they had planned for us. But on the good side, you made a real impression on our anti-commonwealth people. They're realizing outsiders really can be trusted, and do more good than just providing That's interesting, resources. Eyeshadow. You'll always be welcome here, and I hope you make a habit of visiting. Having a trusted outsider would help serve as a reminder that the commonwealth isn't something to fear and avoid. After this, you'd think Bobby DeLuca would have reached out for help by now. That boy is useless. Hello, Dr. Forsyth. Ah, the dangers of curiosity. Lucky for Austin, he does appear to have nine lives. Okay. So there is good... Moment, please. I have been trapped so many years. I believe it's customary to thank you for your role in saving me. 
My entire life has been in this vault. I have analyzed and learned everything there is to know here. So now I must see the rest of the Commonwealth, consult with scientists, unearth more data to challenge my hypothesis. After the bombs, the Commonwealth is a little lacking in the science department. But surely there is still men of learning out there. And if nothing else, there is data. Please, monsieur, can you take me with you? Come along then. Excellent. We must embark at once. Hope that Pip Boy belongs to you. You've got seeds. guts wearing that pit boy in the Commonwealth. I can't believe someone hasn't tried to steal it yet. Is that your pit boy? Better be. If you want a good meal, see Maria at the cafeteria. She'll hook you up. Dr. Forsyth and Rachel have plenty of medical supplies to get you stocked up. And I was muted there for a couple of minutes, so we'll just say what we we're going to say again. We'll see if she has any reaction. Check it out. The Commonwealth. It's, it's a happy place. But here we are. What we have here is the Commonwealth. There's no real magic uh, way of upgrading Curie here, of getting her to like you. There's one or two missions that we'll look into in future videos. But on this note, with Curie kind of checking out the ruined... Commonwealth Boston itself here. We will bid you adieu. This is the Black Knight, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great night. And on another note, uh, I don't think I'm diseased.